Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. On Monday's videos, we always talk about the top weekly picks for three different countries, the US, Canada, and Australia. And this week is gonna be no different, but there's a lot of stuff going on in the market. Are we in a recession? I still think we are in a recession. Uh, it, the Fed paused on the latest interest rate uh, decision. The market should have taken off based on that, but it hasn't. I'm wondering if the real money, uh, the big investors in the market are pretty much saying, hmm, something right here. And the Fed, I honestly think that the Fed should have raised at least a quarter basis points. They did not take raises off uh, for the year going into the last um, decision coming into the year. So we'll see what happens. But based on that information, I'm still going to give you my top weekly picks for the US, Canada, and for Australia. Let's get into the system. Right now, here's the market timing graph for the US market. All we can definitely see, we have a downtrending market. And with the Fed pausing on interest rates, again, the market was supposed to be like, woohoo, let's go, let's rock and roll. And that didn't quite happen. But I will tell you by way of the Vector Vest system, the market is currently looking for a bottom. We have two indicators that let us know when that happens. The MTI, when it gets to a level 0 0.60, and when the buy to sell ratio gets to 0 0.20 or below, the market is definitely looking for a bottom. And from that perspective, I'm still going in one direction for my top weekly picks this week and let you know that we are looking for a bottom. You need to get your shopping lists ready. And if you are a subscriber to the VectorVest system, we will give you that information as it happens. Wait, you're not a subscriber to the VectorVest system? Do you know that you can take a 30-day trial for 99 cents? For 99 cents. Go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. And if you want to know the precise time when we tell you the bottom is in and it's time to think about going bottom fishing, we will let you know. Here, you're only getting it today. Anything can happen between now and in the end of this week. So based upon what I see, the market's still trending down. One day doesn't make a trend. Let's look at today's activity. Look at that. The market gapped down, found a level of current support now as the market's pulling back down. Again, I still think that the market's got some downside. It really does. And if you want to know why, go look at some of the videos that I've put up talking about the reasons why I still think that the market has some downside. And we do have another level of support that I'm keeping my eyes on in the composite of 5831. We're currently, uh, what is that? Nope, 50... 5631, sorry. We're currently at 5646. So we do have a little bit more downside. And again, go check out my other videos on the channel. I'll tell you all of my reasons why I still think that we have some downside to the market. But given today's activity, look at that. We are coming back into the gap where we gap down today. I think the big money, the smart money still thinks that overall the Fed should have actually raised a quarter basis points, but he didn't. And everybody says, well, you don't want him to destroy the economy. I, I sort of kind of agree with that. But with inflation, where he's trying to get the number of 2% on inflation, he's got a ways to go and he needs to do what he can do. And we all know that uh, interest rate hikes are laggard indicators and they're sitting back to see if it's really working or not. Whatever you want to say, whatever you want to think, I think that what the Fed did was not for the economy. I think it was more so for the politics behind not raising. Again, that's my two cents. So, but looking at the vector vest system, going back to the three months, I'm still keeping you on the side of contra ETFs right now. All right, so let's go to the viewers and I'm looking at leverage contra ETFs, but and they are working, all right? On a day like today, they're all working with the exception of TZA, and these are all leverage. And they all have RTs above one. These are still in uptrends. As contra ETFs, they're all buys the whole nine yards. The problem is if we're still looking for a bottom, I would caution you, instead of buying the, non, uh, instead of buying the uh, more leverage contra ETFs, let's look at the non-leverage. So I've got another folder for you today of non-leverage contras. I would I would rather have you on the side of caution, still playing the market to the downside, especially because we're looking for a bottom at that level, 
these are still making money today, but they're a lot less riskier. And all it takes is for one good day to wipe out your gains on the leverage country ETFs. So if you're a little bit more aggressive, uh, then I'm going to say go with the leverage country ETFs, but their trades, I would not hold them overnight. And if the market continues to go down, I get into them for the day, take my money and run, wait for the next day. If the market's still going down, jump on these, Again, and these would be more so day trades. But if you wanna play the market to the downside with a lot less risk, I'm going to tell you to look at the non-leverage and I've got you five non-leverage and I've got you five leverage. That's my guidance going into the week. We got a lot of stuff coming up this week. The Fed's gonna talk, I think on Thursday, we've got oil, we've got housing. Oh man, um, there's a lot of things that could change the market around, but we are at a level where we're starting to look for a bottom. If you wanna know exactly what to do and when to do it, become a subscriber, 99 cents for 30 days. All right, let's go look at the Canadian market. Canadian market today is a little bit mixed, but look at the color guard, a lot of red, a lot of yellow. Where would I have you? Let's go to the graphs. Same kind of scenario, we had a wedge going on. We broke to the downside of the wedge and still pulling down. And we are above the 60, uh, 65 day moving average. The MTI is at a level of 0 0.73. The buy to sell ratio is at a level of 0 0.16. Still at a level of looking for a bottom, but the market's just pulling down and pulling down. For you guys in Canada, I'm looking at country ETFs as well. Four out of the five that I've given to you today are moving to the upside again taking advantage of the market to the downside. Stocks go down faster than they go up. So many of you might be sitting on the sidelines, but I'm giving you guidance on the top weekly picks going into the week. <clears throat> but excuse me, uh, always remember that anything can change throughout the week. And especially because we're at the levels of looking for a bottom, these are still opportunities to make money, but I am cautioning you as a subscriber, we'll let you know when to cut these loose. All right, and the last country is for Australia. Mixed market, actually an update for them in the market, but still, again, a lot of red in the color guard. Um, let's close, oh, there we go. Let's go to the viewers, let's go to the graphs tab first. Same kind of scenario. Uh, pulling down from the high, still moving lower. Little nice rebound day today, but not back in to the wedge that I've got, growing, got going on here. A little uh, selling pressure, buying pressure maybe even a spinning top of an open day for the day. But because you are still below the 65 day moving average, still a lot lower than the high that happened back here in July, no contras in the Australian market. So I'm giving you stocks uh, to short. These are my top five picks for you uh, this week to sell short. These are all sell recommendations. RT is below one and um, that's where I've got you going for all three countries. Now, keeping in mind that the market's at a level where it's starting to look for a bottom, be alert, be very alert. And again, throughout the week, I'm not gonna be giving you more top picks. You're gonna have to wait all the way until next Monday. But if you wanna stay on this right side of the market to know the pinpoint time to jump into stocks long at the right time, if it presents you that opportunity, www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. 30 day trial to the VectorVest system for 99 cents. I think this is probably one of the most crucial times that if, if for nothing else that you wanna take out the 99 cent trial. It's 99 cents, folks. Good gravy, it's 99 cents. If you're investing in the market, that's a piddly, piddly amount of money to invest for 30 days, especially if we're at, at a pivotal time right now, potentially pivotal time, this is why you need the software. All right, from that perspective, folks, if you like this content, hit the like button. You wanna share this content so we can get more eyeballs looking at this content. Um, and if you're brand new watching this for the first time and you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Folks, this video is over, but until the next time, See ya. Hey, VV Nation, do you want to increase your profits and generate income? Well, you can for 99 cents. We'll give you access to the VectorVest system for 30 days. And guess what? It's a money back guarantee. If you don't like it, we'll give you back your 99 cents. But folks, you're going to have access to the best software out there, the best guidance at any price. All you have to do is go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. Folks, it's a no-brainer. Go there right now and take advantage of your 30-day trial 
for 99 cents. Yeah.